Okay. Um, so you bring them down where you can. These are plums, okay. So we've lost our, I guess, central leader because they weren't trained early enough, but that's okay, we can work with that. So we can allow, like, they've tied down. Benji, I think you've done this. So you can spread them out. So, so we're harvesting light. All right, so these will act as leaders. And then wherever you can, bring it down onto the wire like that. Okay, I like that. See how it just wraps around like that and they'll stay like that. And you'll find there's a nice one there. You'll get another one you can put onto there. Just fill the space. Fill the space, probably bring that one over more. And that's why you need another wire up there. And anything that's strong coming out the side, you might wanna. So with plums, plums are different. So if you come in here and have a look. So the, this is where you get your fruiting wood on these little short little spurs like this. So next year, that's all gonna be covered with little things like that. Here, here we go, here's some fruiting buds. Uh, these little tiny triple buds, I don't know if you can zoom in on that, but these, we just see three little buds together. That's fruit there. So there's, there's plenty of fruit, there's little bits and pieces of fruit on here. There's a fruiting bud down here. Like that thing there, that's a fruiting bud. All right. Uh, so there's a little bit of fruit, these little spurs. But that's one year wood, they're little short one year wood. And that's where your fruit is. You will get some flower along here. These will flower, but they won't necessarily be any good. That's not the fruiting bud? No, well, not, not strong fruiting wood, no. The ideal fruiting bud is on these young, yeah, okay. these young little bits, which will grow out of here mm. in the next year. All right? So we've made a bit of a fan here, and that's fine as long as you fill the space, so all right? There's no central leader here? That, no, we've kind of lost that in the, uh, that needs to be established very soon. That's fine, that's fine. You can still have multiple leaders in here, so we're gonna have two or three or four leaders, and then as long as you fill the space, or keep short branches coming off it, so maybe don't allow the branches to get long. Mm. Um, so that's your leader, just keep short, fruiting wood off it all right if you can fill a space like here now I don't mind the angle here 30 degrees yeah. keep it flat same here I'd probably just try and now you can get clips and all kinds of things this one here yeah, I've got the clip there. yeah don't use wire because it grows into that here I'm probably going to get rid of this one because of that competitor yeah. mm -hmm. makes sense keep him as a leader yep. we, we can do more of a central leader here all right, you can keep him growing up like that at 30 degrees, that's fine. That one there, you can keep him growing at 30 degrees like that. Just clip him into that position, one there, one there. Same there, one there, one there. So why 30 and not flat? Um, because of the vegetative. We, we want a little bit more vegetative. Even this one here, if you wanted, Noel, yeah. you just come off, yeah. you can clip him like that. Mm -hmm. All right, and probably just get rid of that one. And what'll happen is you'll get lots of that next year. This year, you lots of little ones. Any big ones, you just cut off and keep a line. Okay. Here's our straight line. If we had another wire, we could either bring that down. If we care, if we're not, if we're scared, we can cut that one off. But really, he could be tied into position if we have another wire here. He'd be good. Okay. So that that tree's coming on quite well, but they'll they'll need to be just spread out. So that's the espalier, fanning them out. Yeah. All right, so that's, that's perfect. But there's fruiting wood here, there's fruiting buds, so that's nice. You wanna preserve that here, let's go at 30 degrees again. All right, let's bring that in. We've got, we've got a, a, a leader, we've got a strong central leader, we just need some support for it. Um, here, we've also got, so that one will come down you can keep it flat, that's fine, or 30 degrees. Here's another one. What are we going to do with this thing? So Benji, what have you done? So here, here's an interesting one. Um, that's coming up through there. We could keep him going at 30. We could keep that going at 30. And probably don't need that one there. 
Once again, we're going to come over at 30 degrees with this one. We're going to bring this one down further. We're, not, we're going to get rid of that. So see that? See we've got our lines? So it's like a fishbone. If you think of a fish, the main, and you've got a main line down the middle, and then you've got the lines coming off it. That's what you want to try and achieve on, on this system. And in this case, we can go at 30 degrees. On apples and pears, remember, we're going flat or just below. But on plums and apricots, um, particularly plums, we're more than, more than happy to go at 30 degrees. It works very well. You can go flat, but um, 30 degrees is ideal. Okay? So how high do you want it to be? Well, this, this one, the height, I'd be, you can go as high as the poles. Because if you're going to have a netting structure over that, um, you don't want to be pushing up into the netting. Uh, because when you cut, and just remember, every time you cut, you stimulate growth. That's a rule. When it, wherever you cut, if I cut there, I'm going to get growth there. Okay, so here's that 50% rule, by the way, too. So I cut there, I stimulate growth right there. All right, that's really important. So these will come down at an angle, and there's my line. I'm going to have a straight line going out that way. I'm going to have a, I'm going to have a line going that way. So any strong ones that break off, off it, you just cut them off. Here. Let's go flat. Uh, or, or yeah, that's what that's all I'd do. I'd just keep keep them like that, like like that. Maybe a bit more. Mm -hmm. This one can probably come down a bit further. That goes a bit further. And we've got quite a nice tree here. This is actually quite a nice tree. We're back on, on deck here. And we're not bothered if they cross each other. Not really, not for now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fill the space. Mm -hmm. And then as the tree fills in, then we'll look at it next year. Mm -hmm. you, you can cut back into older wood, older fruiting wood. But you don't want to be cutting these in half, not now. Mm -hmm. It's not an, ideally, you do not cut new growth in half so this is the new wood so the old wood there last year the new wood you can tell they've got the leaf coming off it got the small bud but that's that's a lot it's a meter and a half of new wood you don't want to be cutting into that at all never cut into new wood um, you stimulate more vegetative growth oh, okay. that's all you do you don't get any fruiting wood you get vegetative growth but when you cut into the older wood um, then like here, that's what, this is a fruiting, fruiting system here, right? That's, there's a whole bunch of fruit sitting here. So one year wood um, turns into, that's the second year old, that's where your fruiting wood occurs. And so next year, this is gonna look like that, covered in fruiting buds. And then you're gonna have fruit everywhere. All, all this is gonna be covered in fruiting wood. And then the summer after, you're gonna have fruit everywhere. So that's where year three, the third summer, these, these trees, you've filled the space, you're gonna have a whole bunch of fruit. And getting that growth early is so important because the sooner you get, get wood, the sooner you can get fruit. These trees here behind us, the, the smaller ones that didn't grow enough, we're gonna to have to wait another year, okay? Push the trees hard in the first year. We don't wanna push a lot of fertilizer here now because you'll get too much vegetative growth. We want them to settle down now into more fruit, into more fruiting trees. Yeah. Push them hard the first year. And that was that foundational in the hole. Uh, it's really, really important that we get that tree up. Is that for all the trees? Yes, also? all fruiting trees. Push them hard the first year or two, and then crop and stop. Get fruit on, cut the fertilizer back. We, we, we don't want that yeah. well spotted, well spotted. Yeah, so you want a flexible, a flexible tubing you can get, spaghetti tube, and you can tie it on there. That stuff stretches too, doesn't it? Yes, yep. but you will have to cut it off eventually. Okay. Alright, we'll do one more. Alright, because this one's a bit wild and woolly. So we've got doubles here. So I want to keep probably just the one line like that. Um, whether or not we even keep that one, we might keep it for, for a year, but I don't like tram lines like that. Uh, it's normally not that flash. Right, so this is good. He can go down either horizontal or 30 degrees. Okay, we've got this thing here, which is very, um, very cross. We don't like crosses. I'm gonna do a bit of a, an ugly cut. 
and and you know we might keep that like that we're gonna are we gonna decide what are we gonna do here we might keep two liters mm -hmm. keep one going that way mm -hmm. and and um, like clip him like that and this this one can go that way so we'll keep that he can go up he can go up like that um, this one can can go on the wire or cut him out well that's a little bit tricky that's why it's so important to keep your one line by keeping that in there it complicates things so we could go and cut that out and let this be our leader again which is probably the better option sorry about that no i'm not afraid to do it i don't want to wreck your trees i've heard you say this over the years a few times i thought hey it's for the benefit of the tree. This tree is actually still fine. You've yeah. still got some really nice growth on there. These will grow back. You know, next year this will be full of branches. Yeah. All right. Um, and different varieties act, act and behave differently too. So this is a, what have we got here? Satsuma plum. So once again, you know, you can come at your 30 degrees like that. We've got these. This is not bad. We've got a central leader tree quite established quite well here so they can train that in uh, what we do with that one you want to keep one not two you don't want to be keeping both of them but yeah just clip them on bang that one's going to be a bit interesting because i don't like his angle there whether you keep that or not it's up to you okay we'll do with that that's a, that's, that's, that's a wild and woolly. Last, the last time. Yeah. The last time it was easily, it can easily snap. Now this one's wild and woolly. What have you done here? You've lost the, your central leader completely. Right. You never had it. So with that, you're just going to have to um, just fan them out, bring them down. Just sort of make a fan. Try to just keep it open. Like they're going up that way. That's Start fine. Going with that, um, informal espalier with yeah. One. Yeah, you are. <laughs> you don't have a choice now, do you? So you can do that. You can do the informal espalier. And probably on the apricots we'll do that and we'll look at we'll probably talk about that now, eh?